Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Build series. This episode has been wild. It's a little bit of a different episode. You might still be able to hear it in my voice, but I have been sick this week with a cold and so I chose just to get the stuff done that I wanted in this episode, um, but not really recording, just like, well, voice recording. So yeah, let's kind of take you through what occurred in this episode. So first, I I decided I needed to go to the end. You know, we're using so many shulker boxes, building up so many things, and we were just running out of the shulker boxes like crazy. So I was like, no worries, let's just go. Well, unfortunately, I lost part of the footage and probably the most crazy part of the footage. So uh, yeah, I went to the end. I died by a shulker. When I loaded back up, I had set my spawn at the portal. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to deal with Enderman when I go back in. Thankfully, I had already found one pair of wings. And so I had the wings. I was like, that's fine. Let's just quick fly home. Let's grab, you know, a pumpkin head. Come back. Everything will be fine. Nope. You know what I did? I got lost. And it took me like, I don't know, three Minecraft days to get home. It was ridiculous. And I was frustrated. Got the stuff. And I was like, I don't want to deal with this getting lost ever again. Um, so I built a nether portal on the roof to get to the end portal. Yes, to get to the end portal. And so I went back, jumped into the end. I was like, I don't even know which city I died at. I didn't take the coordinates. I was so worried. I was like, oh my goodness. And here is that footage of me slowly but surely freaking out as I go to the wrong end city. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, um, have all that kind of fun of thinking I have just lost all my netherite armor. And then thinking, hey, I got six rockets left. I need to get home, going home, or like headed that direction and just happening upon the city that I actually died at and getting all my stuff, it was still there. So all in all, I would say, although the end run was uh, successful in some parts, um, it was also really annoying and frustrating <laughs> and dying sucks. So here's Sick Callie telling you all about the loot that she got from the end run. Here in my box of stuff. We, I got three extra elytra. The reason why this one has mending and I'm breaking on it is that I had an elytra that I had already picked up when I died uh, in my ender chest. So I was just able to bring that back home and yeah, put on breaking and mending on it uh, so that I could actually uh, get back um, and fly to where I died. So anyway, so I got three extras. Um, I of course picked up the one that I died with. Uh, got an unbreaking three sword. Um, I did have an unbreaking and a loot, no. It was a looting three and a sharpness. 
four sword uh, just in my ender chest that I was able to take back into the end with me to try and find my stuff. And then I used this efficiency four silk touch pickaxe that I had put into my ender chest from the loot uh, to mine stuff. So we got that. Uh, also got an unbreaking three shovel. Like not necessarily great stuff, but at the same time I can disenchant it and use it for more um, netherite armor because it'd be nice to have a backup based on my death experience here. We got five diamonds, four iron ingots, uh, 29 gold um, ingots, and then of course 28 shulker shells, which is awesome that we got an even amount. And I'm very happy that I now have like 16 more shulker boxes uh, to work with. That, sorry, that's not the right math. 14 more shulker boxes to work with because I just kept running out, which is why I went back to the end. Um, and then yeah, a couple of end rods, uh, few emeralds not that those are necessary but they were in a box and you know when you're stressed out and afraid you're gonna die from the shulker you just grab whatever is in there uh and then we got like four things four diamond boots um some of them have decent like protection for unbreaking three diamond boots so that's pretty good you just said mending and you're pretty like you're fine and feather falling i guess and then this one is protection three unbreaking three and mending still not bad i think those are the ones i wore back in uh after i died and then I'm breaking two. And of course we got two pairs of pants and the two pairs of pants are pretty good. And then there was three chest plates. This one, not great. I actually didn't notice it at Curse of Vanishing. Otherwise I probably would have tried to leave it there, but I can still disenchant it and have diamond armor. So overall, not a bad haul. Um, I think I was there for, well, I mean, I died and I came back and that kind of stuff. So it was actually probably like a good hour um, run. But hey, I got what I needed to get, and uh, that's the important part, right? And I didn't lose my netherite armor, because I was really feeling bad. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going to go have to go netherite mining again and get my armor back up to where I wanted it. So very thankful that I was able to find the right city and get what I needed. Anyways, the end raid is over. Now on to some building.
And just like that, we have a new building. So it's a building that, yeah, I really love. Um, I've been coming up with the design slowly over time here. And I just really love how it came together. So this is my armory and super happy with it, how it turned out. Um, the color palette obviously matches the rest around here. So in the center, of course, we have this nice tall tower. We have these little lamp kind of post things coming off the side. They obviously don't provide that much light, but I thought just the color scheme went to together really nicely. And here you also see we have the cracked uh, deep slate brick in there. And I like it. I really like how this turned out. Uh, I even like the roof line. I wanted to do something a little bit different and roof lines are not certainly not my strong point, but I wanted to have a little bit different of a roof line. And I like how this kind of curves and then goes up in a point. It just, I don't know, it works pretty nicely. So there's certainly some more, I guess you could say like uh, decor and that kind of thing that could go around the backside and the like, but I did put um, lights enough back here to make it non-spawnable. These blocks right here are technically still spawnable because the iron bars are transparent. But other than that, I think this turned out super great around the outside and makes it look, yeah, it matches with the large buildings that I have created around here already. And that's what I wanted it to do. And I like how it's just like immediately when you come in. So I did extend the path this direction and bring it up so you can walk all the way there. Uh, and here's the front door. So this glass right here and that glass up at the top, uh, that is tinted glass. So it does give it a darker feel inside. But here you go. What does everybody think? Very dark and gloomy which is kind of the feeling that I was going for. So you have lava greeting you underneath a layer of glass and magna blocks. Got also all the different types of deep slate. You have soul um, sand on fire and then also the soul lanterns. Uh, and then of course we got a bunch of these armor stands ready to have armor. Now I didn't fill them all up. Of course I do have some more armor that I could. Um, but that will just come with time because I want some armor to be enchanted. I want some to be non-enchanted and just kind of decorate it up. I did go to a bastion and get all this gilded blackstone and snuck around piglins. Yeah, that was that was lots of fun. <laughs> um, so that was kind of a scary and I had to do it twice because there was like there's so many spots because it's still all upstairs as well. So that was a little bit scary. If you got mad at me, obviously, I could hear them mad at me, but they couldn't reach me. So that was good. But I was able to get enough of that. And yeah, so I did the two staircase uh, and I think it works out well. I, I like how it turned out that way and it doesn't block the entrance because originally in my creative world design, the staircase was going straight up here and it was just a little bit too much blocking. Whereas here, yes, it blocks the back armor stands, but you know, you move from side to side and it's fine. So when you come upstairs, uh, as you can see, there is checkerboard carpet. And this is the reason because I wanted to use soul lanterns and they're just not bright enough to prevent this from being spawnable. So, you know, when 1.18 comes, these carpets I should be able to take up. It'll be no problem. But for now, uh, yeah, I needed the carpets and the soul lanterns up here on the top at least. So this entire place just goes around. And of course, there's even more armor stands and no armor up on the top one. I just put the armor stands down. Uh, but yeah, I am really loving how this turned out. I did, as you can see on the bottom here, or I guess on the inside of the roof, I did put the warped wood planks. I just like the look of it a little bit better than just having the deep slate tiles. And again, just up on this wall, because it is a ledge, I did put black carpet just to prevent mob spawning and still be able to have that kind of gloomy, dark feeling. And of course we have this uh, chandelier. That's what you call it. Yeah. Uh, we also have the chandelier here in the center. 
um, simple, like a simple design, but I thought it kind of worked with this build and still gave a little extra light within here. So I'm happy with how this turned out. I really love it. Um, and yeah, I definitely want to put more armor around on these stands and just make it look like a real armory. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you have any suggestions on other things to add or yeah, whatever you think. So just before I sign off here for the end of the video, um, there was something that's been bugging me <laughs> when I logged in. Uh, to start this week's episode, I realized that the door of the sheep pen was off. And I was very confused because I didn't remember this actually happening. Um, so I'm going to put it back, but apparently I have an angry visitor. So I'll just deal with that first. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know where it went. It must have gone off with a... Oops, that's not where it needs to go. Must have gone off with a zombie somewhere. Um, should be like that. There we go. So let's see if that one stays. But yeah, this episode has been very full. Uh, I so wish the replay had actually saved, um, for the Shulker death, because I think that would have been pretty cool to see. But anyways, it didn't, and, you know, whatever, it happens. But yeah, I definitely know that with the rest of this build here, like, I want to bring more of these trees in. Obviously, I just have these few here. So I do want to bring these a little bit closer. Have one out front here. Maybe have some more of these stone structures around. But I really like how this place is starting to fill out. And we're finally getting buildings in here. I don't know if you guys can hear the mobs very much. But on the inside of all these towers... And the walls, I did not basically light them up at all. So every time I go by, all I hear is growls and spiders and skeletons rattling. Maybe one day I'll go in and actually light them up. But yeah, I am so excited what we were able to accomplish this episode. How this build turned out. Yes, there's a couple torches in the tower I need to go take down. I'll do that after. But I love this and I can't wait to make more buildings like this. And I really think the next building I'm going to do is that box over there and make myself a blacksmith. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thanks so much for watching. And if you really like this content, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new, I'd love if you would subscribe. And I will catch you in the next episode. Bye for now.